Today, I am back at it again with some unique ways to use these Dollar Tree glass mugs, perfect for the upcoming holiday season, including some great gift ideas. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and let's get on into it. Okay, for the first one, I wanted to kind of recreate a set of books with a melted snowman that I had made before, but in a cup version. So this turned out really, really cute. So sometimes I recommend painting the inside of the mug, and I have done that a lot in the past. But for these, I'm just going to go ahead and paint the outside. I find that chalk paint is what adheres or sticks to these glass mugs the best. So that's what I'm using on mine. I did paint it this darker peacock color, and I just wasn't loving all of it. So I had a fun idea to leave the handle as is, go ahead and paint it just a little little bit lighter of an aqua blue color and I felt like I liked it so much more and it's just going to fit like the snowman theme that I was going for. So one of the best things that I discovered when using these mugs is that the little cupcake shaped styrofoam piece fits perfectly down inside these mugs. So I always just set them down in there and then tack them down on the top. And this like if they're made right, if they're not made too small, they usually fit like the perfect amount that I need them. And then because I don't want that styrofoam texture for the mugs that I'm making, I do cover the entire top with just a layer of hot glue, let that dry and then paint it like a hot cocoa color. And then you'll need a styrofoam snowman. So you can put your own together with a couple of styrofoam balls, but this one is ready to go. It's just a Dollar Tree ornament. And I go ahead and remove the tag and I pull off the bottom part of the snowman and then cut it at an angle. I remove the arms. I'm glad some of you all agree with me that these arms are kind of freaky on a snowman. But I set it down in my mug and kind of mark how far I need the puddle to look like he is a real melted snowman. So then I pull back the snowman. I fill it in with hot glue or just a puddle that's going to like look like it's snow pulled up around him set him down in there while it's still melty and then go ahead and paint that white I did glue on his nose a little bit better I was worried about it falling off and then I'm going to be adding on some glitter I did feel like he needed his arms back, so I went out in the yard and found a couple of twigs that would work perfect. I used my miter shears to cut them down, and they were the perfect shape. I just angled them at the bottom so I could easily push them in, but they did have some little holes where I removed the original arms. I hot glued a little snowflake to the front, but this is the perfect cutest little cup of hot cocoa. It looks like a melting snowman, maybe like a snowman marshmallow, but a fun decor piece that I'll get to cherish for years. Okay, so coming up, I have some more really adorable ways to use the mugs, but I had to share this with you all really early on. Did you know that Dollar Tree has out these fun little candy socks and cookie socks that have the name brands on them? I thought this was the coolest idea. I actually grabbed two clear mugs that I'm not going to paint, and I paired the actual candy with a matching pair of socks. These are absolutely adorable, especially if you just get someone like a gift card. You could add this because this just costs like three or four dollars to put together. Put your gift card in inside this if you want to really like fix it up or you could gift these as is just as an inexpensive present but I put the socks and the candy in one of these loot bags that I got from Dollar Tree in like a huge pack I did sprinkle in a few kisses just to make it look a little bit more full but you could put so many different things in here you could stay with like the single color theme I tied little ribbons and bells around the top but a really fun gift idea and they'll get to reuse their mug I tied the bags with the ribbon first and then made a bow so it was easier to get, tie the perfect bow. And then I tied on some jingle bells. I really think it just added a little bit of extra detail. Put a couple of stickers on the mug, but these are easily removable so it's not permanently there. And I didn't want to mess with these because I do want them to be able to use them again and again. Okay. 
Okay, next I'm making a fun little faux dessert with some gingerbread men at the top. So once again, painting a like fun teal turquoise aqua blue color. And then I decided to paint the handle red just to give it a little pop of color. And I just love it so much at the end. So I start doing that, like changing the handle color a little bit different of a color. So I'm so happy I did that on these mugs. And then I put in one of my styrofoam pieces, cover it with hot glue um, because you know the drill. And then I wanted to make some fake icing. So to do this, I'm using some Dollar Tree spackling, which you can use like a better brand if you want to, but this seems to work really well. I do add a little bit of water in a bowl and you want like an icing consistency. So you don't want this to be too dry um, because it won't pipe out of a bag. But after I got the perfect like icing like consistency, I did put it inside of an icing bag with a star tip. And then I didn't want to just make a huge pile of the spackling because I knew it was going to take a long time to dry. So I did sneak in a little styrofoam ball just to fill in the top a lot and then I wasn't even worried about getting this perfect but piped on this icing or spackling all over it until it was completely covered and then I'll start decorating. So a fun way to cover all of the imperfections is just to use like a fine white glitter. I picked this up at Walmart, cover the icing and then start adding in these adorable little gingerbread men. I used these in a previous video where I actually took some gingerbread color candle wax and melted them down in some silicone molds that I got off of Amazon and I have used these on so many things so I am loving it. I added some little sprinkles that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and like the resin section. I'm using them for sprinkles but they were resin filler. I added a fake candy cane as well as some more blue glitter but this is the cutest thing. It will be perfect in like a hot cocoa bar. I added in some white snowflakes and then I loved it so much I ended up gluing one on the front. Another fun project that you can make with these clear mugs is to create some like faux milk with cookies. So these are adorable, maybe one of my favorite projects in this video, but taking two of the clear glass mugs, painting them this bright crimson color red paint, sticking the little styrofoam pieces down in there, tacking them with the hot glue, and then starting to decorate them. So to get the fake milk look, I am using some of Dollar Tree's um, caulking or caulk and filling the entire top up. Now I should have cut the hole a little bit bigger because I feel like it took extra long to really pipe this out and it didn't have to be a perfect consistency because I just ended up taking a dowel rod and smoothing it out but filled the top of these and then this is going to take a couple of days to really dry but I just love how it actually looks like fake milk and pairing this with cookies just is the cutest. Okay, so the caulking has a little bit of gaps and holes and bubbles in it, so I wanted to paint it white. You can tell that I kind of questioned myself. I looked back at the paint after I squirted it out, like, what color is this? Because it looked blue whenever I put it on this really bright caulk. Now, I wasn't really trying to get it, like, a better white color or a brighter white color. I was just trying to fill in the little holes, so paint was the greatest way to do that rather than doing a second coat of the caulk that takes forever to dry. So after I am letting that paint dry, I am going to go ahead and make some cookies. So I'm using the Crayola air dry clay. I also love to use model magic. So just whatever you have on hand or whatever is available to you. But I usually pick up this large tub from Walmart and I've used it on so many things. And we'll also be using it later on in this video to make some fake marshmallows. But I just start with two even amounts of like clay balls and then I roll them out and squish them into a cookie form. And I wanted to create the fun little chocolate chips. So these look as realistic as possible and pushing those down onto the top and then using a stiff bristle paintbrush I am just kind of dabbing it all over to give it some texture.
I do use my putty knife to cut off the bottom because I do want these to look like they are dipped down inside the milk. So just give them a flat bottom so they will set perfectly, giving it that texture and then painting it some more of my favorite territorial beige paint. I use that paint a lot in this video and I have to buy it in the apple barrel like acrylic paint because I don't think there's a chalk paint that's really close to this. But I find myself going back to this every year for like gingerbread men, chocolate chip cookies. It's just the perfect like in between a tan and a brown. So I feel like it's the perfect color. While I was letting these cookies dry, I go ahead and paint the handles of these white just so it's a little bit different and then go back in and paint the chocolate chips. Now it was time to put these together. I didn't even glue down the cookies. I just pressed them down into the caulk and it was soft enough that the cookies pressed down in it. So you might want to try to do that before it dries completely because it will continue to harden. I attached a little bow to the handle. It gave it the perfect little pop of Christmas like decor. I really like thought about gluing something to the front like I did on the other ones but I left these plain sometimes less is more but these are absolutely adorable I love them so much and they look like really realistic with the cookie dipped down in the milk And this couldn't be a fun mug video DIY without making a cup of hot cocoa. So once again, using that territorial beige color, but actually this new bottle that I picked up has a darker label. So it was a little bit more tricky for me to find, but I, it was still the same color. Thankfully, I was worried at first that they changed the color, but the secret to this is I do paint the inside of the mug because I do want it to look like the hot cocoa's inside. And then I picked up some of these dark brown hot glue sticks from Amazon. I ended up getting them in the mini size so I did have to kind of empty out the hot glue gun and um, put this on the top so at first I tried to overthink it and I was going to draw out each little drip but I found out that it works a lot better if you just kind of put some at the top I put a little bit of extra hot glue where I did want it to drip down and then I used a lighter very carefully so be safe and use your own precautions but I used a lighter whenever I got the hot glue on there and I just heated it up and it dripped really naturally and I loved it so much more than when I tried to do it with the hot glue gun so just you'll have to go with your gut you can either do it either way but I feel like it drips so perfectly and whenever I removed the heat it stopped right at the right amount this did drip like really low so I ended up adding in another layer of the chocolate but this adds so much like dimensional detail on the outside versus just trying to decorate the inside of the mug I think this styrofoam piece was made a little bit small. It was kind of sinking to the bottom of the mug. So I just crumbled up a piece of paper to give it a little bit of height. I stuck it underneath there, tacked this down with hot glue, and I did cover the top of it so I can hide the texture. And then using the same air dry clay, I'm just creating some fun little cylinder shapes to create some fake marshmallows. So I just kind of roll them out and then squish them down to get the perfect shape. And I ended up making a bunch of these because I wanted this to be like a really tall stack of marshmallows. After all the hot glue cooled off, I had a really fun idea just to pour a ton of paint inside the mug and let it like leave it a little bit swirly and not mix it 100% so it looks realistic, but letting it dry so it looks like a mug of shiny hot cocoa. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to be stacking marshmallows all over this, so I didn't care, but if you wasn't going to be adding the marshmallows, don't do this because it ended up cracking whenever it dried and I didn't love the look as much. I still got what I was going for. But if you aren't going to add the marshmallows, you could just leave it like I did in the previous project where I just painted it with the thin coat of this color. Um, but like I said, it did crack, but I am covering this over anyway. So all you are going to be able to see is the edges of it. So then using my marshmallows, I stacked the biggest ones at the bottom. And I don't think I showed this, but I did make some tiny little marshmallows so that they would like stack on the top. And then the air dry clay does dry more of like a grayish finish or off-white finish so I am going back in and painting this with some bright white paint. A 
And then for this next project, I had a really fun idea to use one of these little snow globes that you can pick up at Dollar Tree to put in the top to create a snowman head. So I started by painting the mug white and then glue the actual snow globe down inside the mug and paint it white as well. And then it was time to decorate this little snowman so I covered up the seam because it did have like a few little like bare spots in it where the paint didn't match perfect. So I'm covering that up with a scarf or this is just a piece of ribbon and then I did the little tie to the side so I could glue some buttons to the front and then I found a cute little mini hat at Walmart in like the mini little tree ornament section. So I'm using that but I know in the past Dollar Tree has sold like an ornament of just a hat that's bigger so this might look really cool too. And then using the back of my paintbrush, I dip it in some black paint, give the little buttons, and then do an orange nose. And then after the pink little cheeks, he is completely finished. This took no time at all, just waiting for the paint to dry, but think he is absolutely adorable and would also be a great addition to like a tiered tray. <laughs> 